So then guys, this is the new Pico 4 VR headset. And if you've been following my channel for a while, you know I have a big interest in VR and AR technology. And today, what I want to do is check out this brand new Pico 4 headset, which has just been released, which is really, really awesome. So without further ado, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do an unboxing first, and then also I'm gonna pick out some cool, great features about this VR headset. So let's take this over to my desk, and let's begin with an unboxing first of all. So the box is a nice sort of silver colour here, as you can see, nice and reflective too, it says the Pico 4 on it. So let me see if I can unpeel this off, if I can. It's a little bit tricky here to try and get my hand underneath it. I think it comes off it, there we go. It's peeling off, that's it. I managed to get that off, and it's just a white box, it does say Pico actually here on the box, so if you can see it there in the middle. Um, let's see if I can do a slide this off nicely. Uh, that's a good nice slide off. Oh wow, is that just it? Oh cool, that's really, really good. Oh, look at that, inside the other side, you do have a little box set, or we'll have to take a minute and to have a look at that soon. But let's have a look at the actual headgear here, first of all. And wow, first of all, I can say it's quite light actually in my hands and everything, and it, yeah, it feels like a good material. We've got these sort of eye goggles at the back here, what you look into, we've got some label bits and pieces to peel off, what I'll do in a minute. And then we've got the actual controllers as well. They feel quite comfortable in my hand. Don't know what this round sort of plastic bit's for here, but who knows, <laughs> it's quite good though. It's quite a good design. You can definitely get your hands around them. So that's nice controllers and we've got the triggers and everything there. We'll put those down. So we'll have a look inside this little box. I'm guessing like a charger, things will be inside it. So I'm gonna undo these here and see if I can unpick this. Gosh, this box just won't let me in. Oh dear. Oh, actually, what's that? I think I've got it. There we go. <laughs> I could get into it there. Uh, we've got a nice sort of manual guide here as well to help us through, but inside the other main sort of box here, we've got something here. Let's have a look at what we've got. So just pull this out first. Something's just dropped there. Oh, that's a nose to go around your nose, a bit more comfortable at your nose, sort of grip there. That's pretty cool and handy. Um, so if it hurts your nose, it's resting on your face. And then here, oh, we've also got like another sort of eye sort of guard, you know, for smaller sort of faces or it's a bit more protection uh, there, not pushing into your face. And then inside here, we've also got your sort of standard USB charger, I think, it is. I think it's USB-C. If I can get this out, yep, USB-C charger with a weird UKM plug. And then we just have a standard USB-C to USB end sort of cable inside it. And there's something else here, a little mini box. See if I can get into this one for once. Yep, it's a bit more easier. And, oh, we've got some straps here. I guess these connect to the actual sort of controllers to stop me like throwing them across the room. I think Nintendo learned that lesson with the Wii, didn't they, controller? But there's nothing else in that box. Uh, just gonna move these boxes out of the way and everything. But there we go. I think uh, mainly, if let's move all this into place, that is the unboxing complete with the Pico 4. So there's the unboxing guys. So what can I say about the uh, Pico 4? Well, the first thing man have noticed is actually this is really, really light to hold in my hands. And the fact when I put it over my head and everything, it is super, super light. I've got an Oculus 2, for example, from Metaverse or whoever they are now, I can't remember, Facebook. And that is far, far heavier. And also this just feels much more sort of in place on my head, if I can say that. What I mean by that is that like with the little sort of fixture here, the sort of grip bit here to twist here to adjust for your head size, also the strap on top, it's really, really amazing how it sort of positions on your head and it is really, really lightweight. I know there is something on my face, but compared to like say the Oculus out there, the Oculus 2, this is definitely, definitely lighter. And the actual display, what you actually see inside sort of the sort of vision on the VR, it's really, really crystal clear. It's just as good as say as the Oculus 2. If not, I'd say it's actually probably a little bit better on this as well. So I really, really do appreciate that. It's done a lot of effort into this. The same with the controllers as well. The controllers are very, very similar to kind of sort of standard sort of VR controllers. They're a little bit strange and wonderful if you've never seen anything like this before. But they do just sort of just slot into your hands and the triggers and the buttons are in a really nice easy place to locate and it might take you a minute or so to get used to the controls but afterwards each time after you've learned how to use them they just come so naturally where everything is. And you've also got like these sort of 
extra bends on them here on the controller and everything. Not too sure what that's for, to be honest, probably bashing each other or something, I'm not too sure myself. But it is really, really quite a cool design, and these are not that heavy too, they're really, really good. So then guys, what I thought I would do is I'd actually test out the Pico 4 for you and show you some of the footage. So the first thing I've actually set up is something called Virtual Desktop. And what I've done is I've actually cast over sort of a sort of TV sort of program onto my virtual TV and there's an apartment here and that looks really really cool. You can have like your own virtual apartment and TV and step out the reality of your own sort of house. That's really really cool. I do like this app definitely. And then after this I try that again too. And that game is Blade and Sorcery and it's a really really cool kind of game. If you're like a Skyrim fan or something like that, this is a really really cool game to check out on this VR headset. It looks absolutely beautiful just make sure you definitely have enough space um, to work with this VR headset I mean that's the same for any kind of VR headsets but I'm absolutely loving this game games like that just look absolutely amazing because of the lively display inside this VR headset I'm absolutely loving it it looks so vibrant it looks so amazing and like I said it's really really light I can't stress uh, for how light this VR headset is because some of them do really weigh quite a bit to be honest also the whole thing that as you can see here, it's completely wireless as well you can attach a USB-C cable to it if you wanted to but you know the main thing is if you just walk it wearing around just playing games or something like this it's really really amazing or maybe you want to check out like my YouTube channel on here and you can watch that too which is really pretty cool but generally speaking I am very very impressed with this brand new Pico 4 headset or the Pico 4 headset I should actually say and yeah I'm going to be using this for a good while going into the future and if you want to find out more information or if you want to purchase the brand new Pico 4 do check out the description I'm putting on the screen below right now and also this will be in my description of my video so with that guys it's also time to wrap up this video i'd love to know what your thoughts are on vr headsets and this brand new pico 4 too let me know in the comments below and on that note guys it's time to wrap up the video so if you have enjoyed watching it please do press the like button and also at the same time if you want to hear the latest technology news reviews and comparisons please also make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell and on that note guys i'm going to put this back on and i'm going to play some more Bye-bye.